hey y'all welcome back to my channel like dog it's been a minute having it like your girl's been pregnant i had a whole baby and i had to sit out my whole pregnancy but now i'm back and i'm back better than ever and i'm ready for y'all to see this new content that i got like all of my new skills and everything so without further ado let's get straight into the video so right now as you can see i am prepping up the frontal wig and this wig is from beauty forever hair and this is their brazilian body wave wig and i believe it's 26 inches it's either 24 or 26 and um right now i'm just basically bleaching the knots and um i would get an in-depth video about how to bleach the knots real real soon but for now let's just get straight into this install so right now i'm starting off with a tan stocking cap and guys don't worry if i'm stuttering or having a hard time because this is so new to me it's been a long 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 time so what y'all see me doing right now is actually a new technique that I've been doing so far recently and I'm loving it. So instead of using got to be free spray or holding spray at all, what I'll do is take some adhesive and the adhesive that I'm using is a bold hold. And I put that on my perimeter, a thin, thin, small layer, and I let that dry completely. And what that do does is basically just help the cap melt further into your skin without rolling back it's just y'all should try it like this is like the best thing that i've ever did so right now i'm taking the makeup by ruby kisses in the number 15 and i apply that all over my cap and then i go ahead and cut off the excess cap that i will not need So now I'm taking some sea breeze and I'm wiping off the excess um, oil or makeup that got on my skin while applying it to my cap. And as you can see, um, this is the wig. So I went ahead and plucked it a little bit, just went in just to do a little something. It wasn't really too much that I had to do. And I'm just trying on the wig, making sure that it's fit correctly and just placing it where I would want to lay it at. And I've already applied the makeup to the wig and I use holding spray, like three layers of that just to make sure that the makeup doesn't get back on my skin. So now I'm just taking my bold hole active and I'm doing three layers of this glue and I spread it out nice and evenly and you want to make sure that you spread it out nice and evenly so that everything can dry at the same time. And I like to focus a lot on the ear tab part because that's the part that usually will lift first. Um, so I make sure that I get enough right there and I just really focus well on that area just so I know that it will stick properly. so then when it looks like this that's when you will know when it's ready to apply the lace and when i go in and apply the lace i do it very slow like i know that this video is sped up but i really take my time and i look through the lace to see where the glue stops at and um it's okay if you have the hairline a little bit above the glue where you applied it at because you can always go back in and apply more glue but i i would hate it like i hate it when um i would apply the glue too far ahead of the hairline and then i gotta go back in to clean it off but you can do that too because sometimes it happens you know it don't always be perfect so either or you can manage to fix it so now i'm going in on warm heat and i'm blow drying the glue and i go in with my small tooth comb just to make sure that it's pressed in really well and then after that um, i go in with my elastic band and i let that sit for five minutes until i'm ready to style And just a disclaimer, no, I am not 
um, promoting vaping. This is just what I like to do. So just because you see me doing it doesn't mean that you have to do it too. I just thought that I should add it in there because it kind of looks sweet. <laughs> so right now uh, I'm going in and I'm cutting the lace off. And I like to take a little razor and I like to go in zigzag motions. Do not go in a straight line because you will see it and you will see flashback. And actually, I'm actually happy with this video because I'm going to show you guys how to fix fix flashback i said fish um i'm going to show you guys how to fix fix i said it again fix flashback just to make sure that you know as you see right here like how it's wider than my actual skin tone like i'm going to show you guys how to fix that so right now i'm just going to finish cutting it off and then right now i'm just going ahead and taking that same makeup that i applied on my skin i mean on my cap and on my wig and i'm going in and applying it to the edges of the perimeter And I highly recommend that you guys do this step whether or not if you see flashback or not because it just makes the whole blending process way easier when you apply that extra makeup on the hairline um, after you glued it because it's just it does something it does something like it's amazing. So you just wanna go ahead and part out exactly where you want your baby hairs to be. And I like to part out a thin layer. I used to part out like thick layers, but I had to change it up because honey, that did not look realistic. And the thinner your baby hairs is, the more natural it will be. So I like to part out a thin layer of that. And then after that, I would go in with my holding spray and my elastic band that I used earlier in the video. And I will lay that on there and let it sit for like 10 minutes. And what that does is just help the lace melt in your skin even more. So now I'm going to go ahead and part out where I want my part to be. And I know I'm parting out a middle part right now, but I actually ended up doing a side part because I just love my side parts. Like, it do something to me. <laughs> so now I'm taking my Kira Kara Waxing Stick and I'm applying that all on the top of the hair and on the perimeter. And I'm going to go in with my pressing comb. And y'all, do not talk about my pressing comb, okay? I got a whole nother one. I don't know why I haven't opened it yet. I just been doing this this it doesn't been giving me justice so i pressed the hair out a couple of times just to make sure that everything is nice and flat because the flatter the better and i like using the pressing comb that's on the stove because i just feel like it gives me the best results and um after i press everything out i'm gonna be starting on the baby hairs and we'll grow So I like to take some more holding spray and I like to take my um, ragtail comb with the small teeth and I like to comb out the hairline and make the hair straight as you can see me doing. And this make a dramatic difference. Like this right here, as y'all can see, oh my gosh, like it 
changes up the whole install like it makes everything look so sleek and neat and nice and flat and not just all over the place like so don't forget to do this step whether or not if you're doing it on yourself or doing it on a client like just by doing this it will change up your whole install like you will see it and right now if you did all of the steps correctly and you followed what i did this is how good your lace should be sticking to your head as y'all can see it's amazing so i like to cut my baby hairs um like an inch uh, i would say and just to let y'all know i did the real time when i was um doing my baby hairs i didn't cut anything out for real just to show y'all how tedious and how it's really not that easy you know like i know y'all watch videos all the time with people swoop with some edges but just know that that time that it took them like it it, it takes it takes a minute like you have to get used to everything um it's not really that easy as long as you practice you should be good the more you practice the better that you will become and the quicker that you will become but i'm just letting y'all see for y'all self that even though i'm a stylist i still have a hard time sometimes you know especially with doing it on myself like other people i can whip some stuff up quick like but doing it on myself i kind of have a hard time and I tried to attempt to do two swoops with the two sideburns, but my forehead was just so big, I decided to just put a swoop right there in the middle um, of my head because my forehead is just a no. So I did that and I let that dry. And like I said, I did um, change it up to a side part. And y'all will see videos towards the end of what the final results look like. But right now I'm about to just keep playing with my baby hairs to see how i would like them and cut them shorter if i need to just keep swooping them and just take your time while doing this step like you can use gel you can use mousse i'm using the nairobi mousse the foaming mousse and i don't have no problem with it i would recommend that first before i use gel but um yeah this is just what i do and just do works best for you but like i said take your time and just work your wrist like don't think too much on it because like the more you think i feel like you will mess up just do it lightly like don't 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 think about it too much just do it if that makes sense i hope that makes sense but yeah so as y'all can see what it's looking like um i really was not feeling it like as y'all can see i kept messing with it and i just started doing it to my liking and my camera actually died not my camera my phone actually died while i was um recording this part right here so i wasn't able to show y'all the finished finished result but all i did was finish up my baby hairs and flat on it and that was it so guys thank you so much for watching i miss you guys so much much now that i am free and i'm able to do whatever i please i am going to be putting up so much more content and i know that I say i know i say this every single time but y'all this is 2021 like i'm coming so hard and i'm giving y'all so much information and i just cannot wait like i got so many things to show y'all and i hope you guys miss me stay tuned follow my instagram check out anything for any questions in the description box below and um yeah i'll see you on my next video